leaders out in the Surrey Docks area. Hugh Jones, Pat Peterson in the headband. Taniguchi, the Japanese, and so those are the two top Japanese runners. And of course, Seko of uh, Japan won this race 12 months ago. And uh, these two really looking to impress the Japanese selectors and gain a place in the World Championships in Rome later this year. Just overtaken uh, Lamert Brandhurst wearing 21 on his wheelchair. And that was Julian Gota wearing 66, wearing blue, still with the uh, leading pack, just at the back of it, on the right-hand side. Julian Gota, Shaftesbury Harrier, former national cross-country champion and 3A's 10,000-metre champion. Just at the back there with Tertzi. Going along at a pretty quick pace. Right... Uh, on two hours, eight minutes. And the gap is growing. Charlie Spetty can't afford to let them get too far away. Taniguchi taking on board as much water as he can. Hugh Jones making sure this time, having missed out uh, at an earlier feeding station. Gucci, a winner in Tokyo earlier this year. And meanwhile, as the leader out in the men's race, Pat Peterson, United States. Tanaguchi, Japan in second place. So of Japan is in third place, and Peterson looks to be stretching it. Hugh Jones in the blue vest, right up there. Caverno of Norway is there. Roll Kavan of Norway also there. Julian Gota just behind that pack. The leading bunch. And what an international group it is, too. 120, by the way. Um, Some danger there from Peterson and from Poli. Poli's an interesting uh, athlete. If Poli uh, is still with them at 30 kilometres, there was some thought he was going to drop out because he's trying to compete for Italy in the World Championships and he just uh, wants an easy run here. But if he's up there, he's going to race for the line. He's going to be tough, and so is Peterson, uh, who uh, must be one of the favourites. Uh, Hugh Jones still looking tough on the right-hand side. Shigeru Su, Tanaguchi tucked in there. Terzi, very good, uh, tucked away in the middle. The leader in the women's race, and she, she's around the 10-mile mark now. Well, that really is uh, pretty quick going. Um, if that uh, is right, four minutes, four and a half minutes inside a world best pace. 72 in the background, Andy Evans of South London Harriers. He's got a vest of 218. Also up there, 76 alongside her, is uh, Dave Ellis of Birchfield Harriers. He's got a vest of 218. I saw Ian Thompson uh, with that uh, group as well with Christensen earlier. Ian, who was, of course, the European and Commonwealth Marathon champion. Ian last night was said he'd be happy to duck under two hours 20 today. Minders all looking after Ingrid Christensen on this remarkable run. Meanwhile, on the Isle of Dogs. The leaders on the helicopter shot. Leaving the... Uh, Surrey Docks area, and the two Japanese setting the pace uh, with Peterson United States uh, alongside them.
and they're really beginning to string out now at the front of the race. Taniguchi, Peterson, So, uh, Hugh Jones, Caverno, and Terzi of Turkey. Map uh, shows you they're approaching Tower Bridge. Incidentally, um, if you're wondering about the women's race, well, Christensen, we reckon, was very close to world record pace for 10 miles on the way to uh, this marathon. Um, we didn't get an official time at 10 miles, but Brendan Foster has been trying to check. And uh, we ha can't give you any news of the placings down the field in the women's marathon, simply because on these shots, it's almost impossible to find the second athlete. Well, David, on that, on that point, we've now got a time for 10 miles at 52.07. And no woman has ever run faster for 10 miles in history for a 10-mile race. That's like Sebastian Coe or Steve Cram going out in a mile race and running a world record for 800 metres en route. I mean, to me, this is probably the most positive and most aggressive piece of distance running that I've ever seen in my life. And I can't believe that anybody can go through and, and, and that kind of pace and break the world record by five minutes in a marathon. I mean, that's where she's heading, and this is unbelievable running. As a check on the men's pace, and they're still on schedule for something around two hours, eight minutes.